Okay, good, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome back to the next session in the module 2 that is pumps and actuators. In the last class, we have completed few of the topics regarding the, about the pumps and different types of pumps, piston pumps, vein pumps, gear pumps, etc. and performance of uh, different pumps based on the load conditions and the amount of pressure required to operate in many of the applications. In today's session, let us know about the applications of accumulator. In the last class, you people have studied about the types of accumulators that are present in the daily life. In today's, let us see about what are the applications of accumulator they will going to use, why it is, the, what is the purpose of it when it is come to the application wise. In that, the first application I have written here as an accumulator, as an auxiliary power source means it is used as an auxiliary power source in many of the applications in many of the industries because we already know about it it will going to store the required amount of energy and that energy is utilized for many of the operations that are multi many of the operations are performed during at a time or the sequence of operations when it's come to the sequence of operations these kind of accumulators are used means one type of operation is already carrying out in any of the system and one more is to be completed within that period of time during that during that time they will go to use the accumulator. Uh, now as an auxiliary power source without writing the block diagram I have written the symbols of the uh, components that are present in the hydraulic system. Here you can clearly see that for the actuator we will going to write the symbol as like this. This is a double acting cylinder or double acting actuator because here the two ports were present over here that is why it is double acting at the one side it is not the power supply is possible but even at the both the sides for retraction and extension of the cylinder the power supply is possible and this is the symbol of direction control valve uh, we, what we are using in this particular application this is the symbol of the accumulator these symbols means with a small circle indicated by an arrow it will go to represent the check valve this symbol will be nothing but the pressure relief valve in the hydraulic system and this is the tank here one more tank I have given for the exhaust in the direction control valve this is for the pump the symbol we are going to uh, notified or denoted like this and this is the filter while explaining filters and strainers I have given the uh, sim I have written the symbol of that filter again this is back to the tank means here they are using the accumulator in a auxiliary power source. Uh, UV people know how to represent it and what are the valves are necessarily required while explaining the different components of hydraulic system or fluid power system we come across some the major components that is the actuator should be there and the direction control valve should be there, flow control valve should be there and pressure relief valve should be there. Here I have written the check valve, this is flow control valve and the direction control valve is for the direction and the pressure relief valve to control the pressure within the system and pump or tank are nothing but the reserve, reservoir and the motor. These are the major components that are present and one more additional we are using is nothing but the accumulator. Now here say, they are saying that it is an auxiliary power source they are using once after lifting the water with the help of the pump through the reservoir the flow will go into generate in this direction there you can clearly observe that the check valve will going to operate in one direction of flow means the flow is possible one day in this direction in reverse direction it is not possible once the pump lifting the high pressure is fluid from the reservoir it is passed to the check valve there again the connection I have written over here this connection indicates that if any excess pressure is there in the system means before starting any of the hydraulic system or any of the pneumatic system we should set the pressure over here means with the help of uh, pneumatic pressure relief valve we will going to set the pressure to the limited amount that is required for that particular application. Later stages as the operation carried out very smoothly or we can clearly observe that how the actuator will going to perform or how the operation will going to perform based on that we can increase the uh, pressure with the help of pressure relief valve. Here pressure relief valve is get connected at the initial stage itself because higher pressure can be easily relieved and return back to the uh, same fluid to the tank. Here the tank will be one but for the uh, uh, application for the 
returning from the, of the diagram by writing the diagram we are written the for explanation purpose i have written two tanks over there one more tank here three tanks over there means one tank is enough but with the help of whose pipes we will going to connect that to the tank now pressure relief valve we will going to relieve the excess of pressure we already know at the initial stage itself then the fluid enters the check valve here when it enters the check valve check valve will go going to allow in one direction and flow then in both the direction control valve and the accumulator the flow is possible in this direction during that time the accumulator will going to store few amount of the fluid within it because it is in blank at the initial stages it is in blank at the initial stages some amount of fluid is get uh, stored over here next we will come to the direction control valve okay this is direction control valve in direction control valve we have lot of uh, different kinds of valves are there in today's life we come across based on the application they will going to use now i have written 4 by 2 direction control valve lever operated spring return you can clearly observe this lever e over present over here and the spring present over here and 4 by 2 what is this 4 by 2 stands for here you can clearly observe the the positions means number of blocks present over here it is one block it is another block means two positions were there that is why we written two means based on the number of number of blocks we are going to represent it based on that we will going to tell the number of positions present over it and here we have four ports i i clearly indicated the four ports one is from the pump and another is to the tank and one more from the to the actuator one and and one more to the actuator another end so don't get confused sir here you have written two arrows one to the upper direction another to the downward direction again two more arrows present over here means in during the first cycle of power supplying or the hydraulic fluid supplying time the fluid enters the actuator in this first position while coming back means while returning back the fluid enters in this particular block you can clearly observe that now here the with the help of pump the oil is going to enter here to the actuator end a this is end a now the cylinder will going to extend it when our cylinder extends if any of the fluid present over here the again the fluid will be returned back from the port b to the tank means here four ports were there that four ports will going to change their positions with in the direction control valve whether it is a solenoid operator or lever operator they will going to change the position of the fluid flow based on the requirement in the first position the fluid enters here the cylinder will going to extend but if any of the fluid present here it will be returned back to the tank with the help of port b again during that time the cylinder will be in this position or the piston end will be at the this position means it is get extended to the bottom end of the uh, cylinder you can clearly you can't observe it but while explanation purpose i will return at the last position it will get extend here means the amount of fluid present here will be returning back to the tank during that time i have already explained it is 4 by 2 lever operated spring return valve means once you operate the lever one type one uh, incision is enough means one more time we can't uh, operate the lever to return back to the original position of the actuator means once after actuating the cylinder uh, after actuating the direction control valve with the help of lever manually the flow enters here the cylinder extends here means amount of fluid will be returned back to the tank and one more time you can clearly observe that the cylinder as extended again it should get retract how it will going to retract means during that time the amount of fluid present in the accumulator amount of fluid present in the accumulator will going to play a major role that is it is called as an axillary power source that fluid again enters to the back end of the cylinder there to the port b with the help of in this particular position of direction control valve due to which the cylinder will going to retract and the amount of fluid present here will be returned back to the tank means here with the help of uh, 
liver will going to operate manually at only once one time of the operation again for the another time of operation with the help of spring return means it is spring return the spring will going to return it but to retract the cylinder accumulator will going to play a major role because if the initialization position some amount of fluid will get stored here and that fluid will be enter to the port b due to which it will going to get retracted to the original position that fluid again will come back to the tank this is why accumulator as an auxiliary power source application is possible with the help of the accumulator next about the uh, second application that is about accumulator as in a leakage compensator in many of the hydraulic systems the hose pipes are tightly connected due to variation in the velocity and pressure of the fluid some of the times the leakage things will be more more most of the time the leakage is more or we can find out the leakage in many of the systems because at high pressure the fluid enters may be some bendings happening in the hose pipes or some uh, contaminants present in the fluid will going to damage the hose pipes due to which the leakages are possible during that time accumulators they are using the accumulator to regain or the restore that leakage of oil again back to the accumulator by placing the accumulator the uh, the placing accumulator at the right position in the hydraulic system you can clearly observe the same diagram i have written what i have explained for the as an auxiliary power source here one of the uh, switch as introduced that is pressure pressure switch in the hydraulic uh, system or the uh in the hydraulic fluid power system to on and off the motor power supply if any of the leakage is identified with the help of pressure switch they will going to switch off the motor power supply by identifying the leakage now you can clearly observe that again here the tank reservoir filter pump and the pressure will valve with there a check valve will be there and the accumulator will be there and again it is lever operated 4 by 2 means four ports two positions direction control valve with spring return here this application remains same once after fluid enters in one direction with the help of check valve it will get stored in the accumulator again the fluid enters the cylinder port a here the port a is present here the port b is present in this first position once after cylinder get extended while coming back the some of the times may be some loose connections in the hose pipes may be going to undergo a leakage or some high pressure fluid enters so some damage will going to happen during that time the accumulator will going to store the amount of fluid present in that, that particular connection with help of it it will going to store it during that time accumulator stores the uh, minimum amount of oil to the uh, uh, in it but the pressure switch will going to identify the leakage then with the help of the high pressure fluid enters into the system or the low pressure enters into the system it will going to cut off the power supply of the motor immediately here to avoid the leakage in the hydraulic system we are using the accumulator at the right position in the hydraulic system that is about the second application next in the third application is about the accumulator as in a hydraulic shock absorber as in a shock absorber in many of the systems once the high pressure fluid enters during that time the vibrations will be more uh, maybe damages will going to happen to many of the hydraulic components to avoid that they are using this accumulator as in a shock absorber by absorbing that i for or receiving that high pressure hydraulic fluid within it now here we are using a very different kind of uh, a yeah, direction control valve that is lever operated spring return valve it's well but here we have only two ports only two ports are possible in this type of valve we can clearly observe the one arrow present over one is from the to the tank once after the fluid enters here in the first position again the same pump will going to lift the hydraulic fluid one directional valve is present over there then to the system it will going to enter while coming back maybe some excess of pressure will going to develop inside the cylinder or the inside in any of the of uh, machines due to which the while receiving it back the accumulator is present over here it will going to 
uh, use that particular oil as an a or a high pressure oil is get received back to the accumulator due to which the shock observer it will going to act as an a shock observer means even in our body once the blood pressure keep on increasing our mind will going to actuate the things the blood pressure is getting increased due to which will start controlling our mind by breathing out in and out by exhaling or inhaling the air means by doing that we will going to control the flow of fluid or the flow of blood within our system in the same manner accumulator is going to play a major role here means while after completion of the operation if excess of fluid enters here it will going to sustain this is again emergency shut off valve with having the two ports and the two positions it is also in a lever operated with spring return means once operating the lever it's enough for one more displacement or one more movement of the cylinder we again need no need of operating the lever the automatically with the help of spring return it will get retracted back and next and the last application is about this is the fourth application accumulator as an emergency power source in many of these cases accumulator is used as an emergency power source during that time accumulator is very much important again here you can clearly observe it is double acting cylinder but here the port a is get connected only uh, from one end of the direction control valve and another end is get connected to the accumulator itself you can clearly observe here it is 3 by 2 direction control cylinder operated spring return valve pressure relief valve is necessarily required we are we are changing the dilation control valve because as an emergency power source we are using the accumulator we are saying means no need of uh, lever operated 4 by 2 valve over here we because the once after the fluid enters the, the system that fluid gets stored in the accumulator again the same fluid is used for the operation of one more operation while returning back to the cylinder to the original position here it is the symbol indicates it is solenoid operated this symbol indicates the block with the cross arrow indicates or this cross line indicates it is solenoid operated it is three ports it having three ports you can observe here this is from the pump this is from the tank this is to the one end of the cylinder a one more end is get connected to the accumulator at the later stages so once after lifting the oil the oil enters from the pump to the port a then while entering it some amount of fluid also will going to enter over here that fluid will get sustained over there and here the movement of the actuator is possible actuator will get moved from the original position to the initial position to the required position once after get is moved some amount of fluid enters and gets stored in the accumulator <coughs> once it is gets stored it is solenoid operated means no need of manually operating this particular direction control valve it is operated solenoid means with help of push button or any other thing will going to operate it once it will going to push the push button it will going to lift the water to the cylinder the cylinder will going to extend back to the required position the amount of fluid will get stored during that time if excess amount of fluid is with high pressure is coming out of the system that will with help of pressure will pass again it will send back to the tank and some amount of fluid will get stored here it is solenoid operated once it is actuated the uh, piston and will go into extend back during that time again it should come back to the original position how it will going to come back but only one directional flow is possible over here because it is get connected to port a but port b is connected to the accumulator while the initial position is possible during the time itself the accumulator will go and store the required amount of fluid that fluid is again sent back to the port b to retract back the piston to the original position means here the changing of the position is also possible here and the amount of fluid will get stored in the accumulator will going to play a major role to retract back the piston to the original position this is regarding about how it will going to act as an emergency power source by using different kinds of valves means here we are also operated we also i also shown that 
how with the help of liver operated they will going to play a major role now it is solenoid operated their liver operated means only the single time initiation is enough to actuate the cylinder from the initial position to the required position again while coming back they will going to play a major role with the help of the accumulator as an emergency source as a shock absorber in the as an leakage compensator and also an axillary power source these are the four applications that are possible with the help of the accumulator and one more thing these kinds of uh, uh, symbolic representation of many of the components that are present in fluid power system you people will going to study those things in the module 3 and how to connect and how to write the network and how to write the hydraulic system cascading method for the car, how they will going to connect it and how the amount of fluid enters, where the direction control valve should get located, where the pressure relief valve will get, get located and check valve where we should uh, uh, yeah, fix the check valve means appropriate positions and designing of this uh, hydraulic circuits you people will going to study in module 3. Okay, the next topic uh, in this uh, second module is pumps in pumps and actuators is types of intensifiers means what are different types of intensifiers present over there before getting into the topic we should know about what is an intensifier that is an hydraulic intensifier or pressure intensifier it is also called as a booster in many of the hydraulic uh, systems or in fluid power system it is called as a booster means it is going to intensify the amount of fluid uh, by creating an high pressure that is really required for many of the operations. Okay, now here I have written the definition of an hydraulic intensifier or a pressure intensifier. A pressure intensifier is a device that is used to increase the um, uh, pressure in an hydraulic system to a higher value than that of provided by pump. Means, as the definition itself clearly indicates, means it will going to develop a high pressure to the any of the fluid. Uh, which is coming out of the firm uh, when it is coming out of the firm it is in the form of high volume low pressure some of the times that is not really required for to complete many of the operation whether it is pressing operation whether it is a punching operation whether it is a clamping operation in many of the application it is very difficult to clamp the or the hold the components very tight when it's come to the holding it uh, when it's come to the pressing operation the amount required or the force required for that particular application is very maximum during that time the pressure intensifier will going to play a major role even in punching in many of the die preparations in many of the punching machines there the symbol whatever they are going to present over there with the help of it it will get you should get imparted that particular symbol to the many of the product by the name of the company whatever they will going to designate it there the uh, pressure required will be more to overcome this particular fire we are using the pressure intensifier uh, intensifier or the booster we want to call it as booster means when it is coming out of the firm to the required level with the help of the pressure setter the pressure intensifier will going to increase that fluid pressure to the required amount by doing that it will going to create a lot of pressure inside the system then the uh, problems arise with the problems arise by overcoming the what are the problems will going to come across with uh, pressure in, uh, not create not getting the right pressure in many of the applications can be easily solved with the help of the pressure intensifier next let us uh, about the principle of operation this pressure intensifier here i have written a simple diagram that is the cylinder and piston at uh, cylinder and piston you can clearly observe that in this particular uh, principle of operation here the high pressure fluid coming out of the pump is get connected to the pressure intensifier it will flow in this direction and here area present over it will going to call it as a1 and that piston rod is get connected to the another end where you can clearly observe that the area requirement over here very will be very less means this is called as single acting pressure intensifier means here the piston rod present only at one end that is why it is called a single acting pressure intensifier here they are 
uh, going according to Pascal's law, pa you can, people have come across Pascal's law there, the amount of force applied will going to remain constant, uh, whether it is a transmission of fluid from one uh, volume of area to the another volume, there based on the area variations, the pressure will get increased. You people have come across this. Now, I am going to call this as A1 as uh, the larger area and A2 area present or it will going to call it as smaller area. Once the high pressure, sorry, low pressure, high volume fluid enters from the pump to this larger area of the piston, it will going to create a pressure to the smaller area of the piston by creating high pressure, you know, low velocity, high pressure fluid over here. Means low pressure enters here, that will make a contact, it will going to create high pressure over here. Means uh, the principle of operation is nothing but high volume, low pressure fluid will going to make a contact larger area of the piston due to which the piston will get forced towards the smaller area and to intensify the amount of pressure that is really required in any of the system. Here I have written the larger side of the area, the amount of force applied will be uh, written in terms of pressure and area P1 into A1 that is pressure acting over there and the area present over there. Next when it comes to the smaller side amount of the piston, the same amount of force is applied to the smaller area, again the force will going to remain same, again for force P2 into A2. Now the force applied will be same due to which P1 A1 equal to P2 A2. Now the required amount of pressure should be identified at the smaller area because this end is get connected to the any of the operations that are required to the high pressure. This is the really required term for us by creating. There it will going to create it where we can clearly observe with the help of the dial indicator or the pressure indicator dial over there. Now P2 will be the required. Now if I multiplication A1 by A2 cross multiply A1 by A2 divided by into P1 means this is the requirement over there means we are creating high volume sorry uh, uh, low uh, high pressure fluid with the help of high volume low pressure fluid that is coming out of the uh, pump. Now in the types of intensifier the first one is single acting intensifier. In single acting intensifier they are using the oil here means high pressure oil fluid enters to the larger area of the cylinder due to which the piston will going to create a lot of pressure in the smaller area according to its principle of working. Here it will going to create lot of pressure hence the pressure it will going to act this A2 area will going to act as an pressure booster for many of the applications and operations. The working remains same as the principle of operation. Next when it is come to the double acting intensifier, in one direction we have seen in single acting intensifier, what about in double acting intensifier? Means a double acting intensifier will going to act like a pressure compensator. It will going to create a high pressure, it will going to maintain the medium, it will going to create low pressure based on the side of so based on the, the where it will get connected in many of the applications. You can clearly observe the diagram here, here it is double acting cylinder is present over there means the cylinder will going to act at the two sides because the piston rods present at the two side of the piston head, one, one in this direction, one in this direction. Here the oil enters in all four different directions, you can clearly observe means but out of the oil is possible only in the smaller area. Now, if the high fluid enters here, if there is no, the only limited amount of pressure fluid enters here, if the high fluid enters here, that amount pressure is get created with the high fluid, it will going to push the cylinder, it will going to push the piston to the, in this direction. There, you can clearly observe that means the maximum pressure can be attained in this particular direction. If, uh, if the, in the reverse direction, if the high fluid enters here, the whatever the fluid present already here means the comparison of fluid enters will be maximum at one side, minimum at one side. That is possible in this kind of pressure intensifiers. Now again, if the high fluid enters here, if the low fluid pressure present over here, again it will going to retract the piston towards this direction. Means the higher pressure, is, pressure attainment can be possible in this 
outward. Means this double acting intensifier will go to play a major role, major role by compensating the pressure at both the ends, whether it is in this direction or whether it is in this direction. And the last one is air oil uh, intensifier. Means we here we come across with the help of oil we are creating the high pressure. Now here in this application with the help of air they are creating the high pressure, high oil pressure. pressure. Means they are creating with the help of air they are creating they are creating pressure on oil. Means this kind of uh, intensifier uh, most of the times they are going to use whether it in pneumatic systems we combine with hydraulic system in many of the applications whether in clamping devices whether in punching devices whether in pressing operations there they are going to use this air oil intensifier. Here the air is sucked from the compressor to the required level that air is passed to the larger side of the piston. You can clearly see the arrangement over here. It is the larger side, this is the smaller side. If I return A1 over here, it is A2. You can clearly observe that the area of present will be minimum when it's come to the A2. Means the oil present here will be coming go to the, this booster cylinder through here. This oil is get filled over here. Means that is low pressure oil. With the help of air from the compressor, it is going to push the larger area of the cylinder with high pressure due to which the oil will going to come out of the chamber. These are the possible things uh, that are, are going to present in the air oil intensifier. Whether here the direction of flow will be in this direction to the required system. Once the oil enters it will going to get filled. Here one directional check valve will going to present and once the pressure intensifier uh, with the help of air it will going to apply the pressure the oil will come out of the cylinder this is about the air oil intensifier means types of intensifier means the first one is uh, single acting intensifier and the second one is double acting intensifier and the third one is air oil intensifier intensifiers are mainly used for creating high pressure value in many of the so hydraulic systems even in combination they will going to use means the required level of pressure can be uh, applied or utilized with the help of the intensifier this is regarding about the types of intensifiers